but it's good. It's good. Yep, it's good. Hello, party people. All right, all right. Hello, hello, hello. So I'm back again. Um, just working, but I thought that I would stop in to say hello and then give you an update on my locks as I always do. All right, as I was saying, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my locks. Um, I feel like I always say every month I feel, oops, let me get that right. Every month I feel like I always say there's not too many changes, but there's really not. I mean, I just think now I've gotten to a point where, you know, of course it's two years now and I'm not worried about them locking because they've already locked up. Um, the pattern is gone. Like those are things that I think you think about during the first year. Um, you know, like when is my pattern going to leave? When are my locks going to lock up? Mine are locked up. My pattern's gone. Now they're just growing and I'm not really worried about them growing because they're at a length that I'm comfortable with. And um, yeah, so it's like, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not focused on them. And so they are just flourishing and they are doing what they do and i am so happy about that um what else can i say oh so yeah i haven't you know usually i wash every week but i haven't washed um i didn't wash last week so i'm gonna wash it this week and i'll probably dye it again because my birthday's coming up so i want to dye it and um that's about it that's about it so i did this little ponytail here and um, like I said in another video I was telling you guys that this is kind of close to when I um, you know close to a style that I had during my first year and I loved it and I'm glad that I could recreate it and it still looks decent so um, but yeah that's about it so I'll see you guys later hello um back again all right so i am doing my i'm dyeing my hair as i said i would i have the herba tint again i already put the dye on there it's going to stay on for about 40 minutes i don't know if you didn't see my last video the process of me dyeing it you can watch it i'll leave a link to that but um yeah when i bought this this is like buy one get one half off or whatever remember i don't know if you guys remember i was telling you that i didn't love that it that you had to like mix it with the applicator um like dish and the brush or whatever but uh i'm just used to having the bottle because the bottle's just so more convenient but i don't have um or i'm sorry that one doesn't come with that totally fine i just mixed it up threw it on there um 40 minutes i'll leave it on there and then i'll take it out i think i might retwist next week oh and i do want to show you something else that i bought today so I went to TJ Maxx and I got this right here. Indian, it says Indian hemp, um, like it's a co-wash. They had a shampoo as well, but I got the co-wash and it was on sale for like $4.50. So I'm like, you know what, let me try this. Um, I'm pretty, I'm familiar with this brand. I've had other things from them, not a co-wash though. And I haven't co-washed my hair, my locks. When I had loose natural hair, I did co-wash, but I'm going to try this. It says vegan co-wash, fortify and revitalize. So um, it's infused with, I guess, tamanu oil and bamboo or whatever, no parabens. So I'm going to use this. I think what I'll do is wash my, um, my dye out with some shampoo because I do really want to get it out. And then I think I'll just use the co-wash and... And I'll let you guys know how it goes. It's not sponsored, not yet anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll come back and I'll let you know how this works, okay? All right, so I am about to wash my hair out. This is what I'm using. I don't know if I showed you guys before. I got this at TJ Maxx as well. It's Giovanni and I love this brand. I've been using it for a long time, um, you know, in and out or whatever since I've had natural hair but it's their Tea Tree Triple Threat Invigorating Shampoo. And um, it's like a clarifying shampoo. So I'm gonna use this as a shampoo. And then I am going to use the co-wash that I was just telling you about. 
and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm down here in my kitchen. We actually updated our kitchen and um, if the video is not posted already, it will be soon. Um, but yeah, lovely new kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair here in the kitchen sink. I got my gloves because I usually, I put my gloves back on when I'm washing all the dye out because you know, although it's already on my skin or whatever, I didn't want to get any more on there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Sitting on the porch. I just braided my hair. I still got a little dye to get off. Um, that I'll get off in a little while with some oil, but I'm just sitting out here for a minute. Morning. Hey, just coming in to show you my dye job. So I dyed my hair, you know, you saw the video of that, and then I braided it up, took down the braid locks on yesterday. So yesterday was a little, um, looser today's a little i'm sorry yesterday was a little tighter today's a little looser so i just wanted to come in and show you guys that um so yeah i always like when i dye it because it just makes my hair a little more like fresher and everything i did talk about like a little dryness that i felt so i've been spraying my rose water glycerin every day and then just oiling it um but it's good it's good that's good. So yeah, still pineappling at night. Um, you know, I'll just put it up in a pineapple. I haven't, like I don't braid it at night. So pineapple and then just let it go in the morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so I know I always come in and I talk about um, how I pineapple at night and I have a video on it. So if you haven't watched it, you can go see it. Um, but yeah, so I pineapple at night, meaning I, and I just wanted to come in and talk to you guys about it again, in case there's new people who haven't, um, who haven't seen it before. But yes, I pineapple, um, it looks like this and it's just basically me pick, taking my locks, putting them up and just tying them around. So they're getting longer. Um, so I might just like tuck them in at night when I go to bed, just so they won't be in my face. Um, but generally it looks like this at night and then I go to bed. Then I get up in the morning. It's morning time right now. I get up in the morning and I just take this off until it looks like this. And then I just shake it out and bring it down. And depending on how it feels, I will oil it. Um, so I'll use my rose water glycerin, which I live by. So I'll just spray a little bit of that on there. And my Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla, which I live by as well. And I'll just put some in my hand and then just kind of like take it and I never really spray this. I feel like it, go, it goes um, longer or goes a long way when you put it in your hand. So I'll just put it in my hand. I'll do that. And just kind of like, you know, I'm semi free form, but I, um, I still want it to be like neat. Like I don't want a lot of, I don't know if you would call them flyaways or what. So anyway, I do that and just kind of make it nice and neat and smooth down. Then I might just take my comb And just kind of like, like I said, um, you know, kind of make things a little neater around the edges. I'm 
Well, look, y'all, I was painting yesterday. Did I? I think I still, I might have some paint in my hair, but anyway. And that's pretty much it. So really easy. Um, you just want to fluff it out and get it together. I have a permanent part in my hair, but that's fine. Then I might just pull down a little bit. A little bit of the baby here. And voila. And that is it. Easy, what, five minutes or less in the morning? Um, yep, and I'm ready to go. All right. I think this might be the end of the update for the month. So, yeah. If this is the end, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe. I will respond to any questions or comments um, that you guys might have. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next month.